lovers and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Adriana Flores Moya. I'm a Latina surrealist artist and in today's video we're going to be talking about my top five paint brands that I personally use for all of my surreal creations. But before we jump into this video don't forget to give me a follow on my social media account so you can keep up with my art and new posts. Alrighty guys, let's get into it. So I'm going to be going in order from the cheapest paint brands to the more high quality expensive ones, but that doesn't mean that the cheap ones aren't just as good and just as important because a lot of the time I use the cheaper paint brands to do the more massive parts of my paintings and use the higher end to do the more detailed work. So that's a quick tip to save money on paint. The first brand I highly recommend and it's a brand that I started using to do my paintings from the beginning and I still use today is Liquitex Basics. It is probably the most affordable brand and it has such high quality thick paint that is very easy to work with, it's easy to build layers and it doesn't dry fast when you are trying to paint and doesn't like get all jumbled and gross on your palette which can be annoying but the cheaper tubes are about six dollars at michael's michael's is typically where i buy most of my art supplies because i just i just love strolling through the store it's just my heaven on earth it shows me what i need really but anyways i also have purchased the six color basics set from liquitex and that is thirty dollars so it has all your base colors that you would need to mix together to make other beautiful colors for your artwork. And on their website, this is what Liquitex Basics describes their paint like. Liquitex Basics acrylics offer a wide range of colors with great coverage, outstanding color brilliance, and exceptional brushability. Basic acrylics can be used for a variety of techniques from watercolor, airbrush, and printmaking to make thick applications that simulate oil paint. It's perfect for all painting techniques, which include underpainting and sketching. This medium velocity paint is made with light fast, artist quality pigments and an expanded choice of 72 colors. And it is student quality. So yes, if you're a student in school and you're not trying to invest a whole bunch in painting, or this is something you're trying out for fun as a hobby, Definitely try out Liquitex. It's affordable. It works very well. Very blendable. I 100% agree with their website description. I think it captures the paints very beautifully. Water break cause I'm thirsty. Oh, here's some of my stickers from my art shop. Boom, 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 boom. The second most affordable paint brand that I recommend is Grumbacher Academy Acrylics which is sold at Michael's for about $7 a paint tube and they have a 48 color line. So there's plenty of colors to choose from and it is very high quality. It's a bit of a thicker paint but it blends very seamlessly as well. But I also recommend if you're getting paints that are a bit thicker to buy a mixing medium. I use what's called a retarder, which don't love the, the name here. And then you also can find some other mixing mediums at Michael's that are very affordable. I use the Golden One or the Liquitex brand for my mixing mediums. Mixing mediums can prolong the time that you have to work with them without them getting dried up on your palette. And it creates for a much more blendable and smooth process as you're applying it to your canvas. The third paint brand that I recommend is called Arteza. I have purchased off of their website, but I've also purchased paint off of Amazon.com. So you just pick which vibe you're trying to go for. I've purchased the 14 color set, which is about $45. It comes with a wide range of colors and the tubes are really big, honestly, for the price. So it'll last you a long time. Um, I'm trying to get better at the way I use paint also. Like a lot of times I kind of put too much on my palette. And then if I mess up on a painting, it just, I keep adding more and more. But I've also let the neighborhood kids use my Arteza paints. And you know kids like to glob a lot of paint onto their paint palettes and just like layer it on onto their canvases. And I still have a ton of paint left in those tubes. 
So that's a testament to how long it should last you, especially if you're careful with how much you're putting on your palette. So I highly recommend these for starters. It's also extremely blendable. They go on a little bit thinner than some of my other paints, so you might have to layer a little bit more, but I still think that they are really great for the price. On their website, Arteza describes their paints as high velocity and rich, allowing you to build texture with a palette knife or use a detail brush to add the finishing touches to a piece. Each color comes in a squeezable pouch, making it simple to mix colors together without using up more paint than you really need which is also true, it comes in squeezable tubes, so it's easy for anybody to get a hold of and to use. So, there's another one for ya. I don't know what kind of accent that just was. Help. Now we're getting down to the nitty gritty of the top two paint brands that I use for all of my paintings and will recommend to the end of time. So the fourth paint that I use is Windsor and Newton and I think honestly this is probably the best bang for your buck as far as quality and the amount of paint that goes into the tube like the tubes are pretty large they're like this large for 10 bucks like you can't beat that at all and they're thick and they're easy to layer they don't dry out quickly on your palette so 10 out of 10 recommend Windsor & Newton 100%. I have the smaller tubes, the bigger tubes. I have it all because highly recommend. So at Michael's, their bigger tubes, as I said, are about $10 and their smaller tubes are about $6. Windsor & Newton describes their paints as good quality paints that are brilliant in color, easy to control, mix cleanly and beautifully. And once on the canvas, they retain their bright color for years. The paint applies smoothly and with a satisfying thickness. Drum roll, please. Boom, 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 boom. That's a different type of drum roll. Never heard her before. <laughs> but anyways, the fifth paint brand that I use and my most recent favorite is Golden Paint Brands. And a lot of people know this brand is definitely on the pricier side so if you're somebody who is wanting to invest in more high quality paints with a more rich texture and color payoff then this is the brand to go for but again know that you're investing a decent amount of money into it but then again your paint should go a very long way and you don't need that much on your palette. So it's kind of hard to tell you a price range as far as these paints because I kind of seen the cheapest for a tiny tube, probably like this long, be about 10-ish dollars. And then it also depends on the type of pigment. I noticed the reds are definitely more expensive. So a single paint tube that are about the size of a Windsor Newton $10 paint tube are can go up to like $40 or so. But again, you're paying for quality, but I also agree that Windsor Newton is just as good. You know what I'm saying? So it's up to you how you want to spend your money, but I've been wanting to personally invest in these golden paints. I use the thick acrylics, so they definitely need a mixing medium. I think the downside to using the thick um, acrylic paint is that it does dry out so fast on the palette and I haven't been so good of putting enough mixing medium that it gives me enough time as I'm painting to like work with it because I do take a while when I paint and I like to kind of just get in my flow get in my zone and just enjoy my time so please 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 get a mixing medium and it just makes the canvas look so much smoother it fills in all those little bumps that sometimes paint might skip through just makes it all blend beautifully and i just want to say the combination of a makeup brush a fluffy makeup brush and the mixing medium together baby chef's kiss unmatched cannot be replicated it is life-changing Golden heavy body acrylics are noted for their exceptionally smooth, rich, buttery consistency. These paints have the ability to stand up 
and retain brush strokes or palette knife marks on the canvas. And that is very true. If you like textured paintings, these are the paints for you to go for because they will definitely stay up because they are so thick. Thick, 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 thick. Did I say thick? And a little hot tip to extend the shelf life of your acrylic paints is to make sure that you keep them in room temperature, babes. Room temperature. Do not leave them in your car. I've done that. Because um, it could be extremely hot outside, extremely cold outside, and that just changes the consistency and the chemicals of the paint, and it will not give you its true power if you keep messing it w with it like that. Like, okay? Also, most manufacturers claim that paints should last about five to seven years, which probably true, but I haven't had paint that long yet, okay? Because I started my business like two years ago. If they're more of like the open cap type of paints that you're checking for molds because of course you don't want to paint with mold and have that on your canvas forever but make sure you're keeping up to date on the paints you're buying don't buy too many paints when you're starting out or just in general because you don't need that much I say that when I have a whole art cart full of paint but it's making me realize I really don't need that much and I have purchased too much because I like shopping so don't do that because then they could end up going to waste but you could also do as I do and share with others that can help you out as well and do a little fun art night with your friends and just drink a little wine on the side and have a fabulous time. That was my top five best paint brands. I hope you guys try out these paint brands and let me know if you do down in the comments below. I also want to see the art that you create with these paints. So I'll link your art shops in the description box below so we can create a community of art lovers and spread some love to each other. If you guys are interested in checking out any of my surreal art, I will have the link to my website down below. It is evocaholic.com as well as my social so you can follow along on my art journey. And if you have any recommendations for future videos, let me know down in the comments below paint videos, tip videos, manifestation, self-care. I'm about all of those beautiful things, baby. Give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel to view my next videos and keep up with me. And I hope you have a blessed day. Peace.